In today's video, I'll refinish this old cabinet. This was made by the Lane Furniture Company in the 1970s, and you can tell that by reading the serial number on the bottom. You have to read it backwards with these Lane pieces. But also you can just tell by the looks. A lot of the Lane stuff got kind of chunky looking in the 70s, and I think this piece looks kind of chunky. But I like it. I think it, it'll look good in the right setting. And the condition is not too bad. The top, as usually is, is in the worst condition. The sides aren't too bad, and I actually considered just refinishing the top and just touching up the sides, but I think it, it'll look a lot better if the whole thing is refinished. And there's so many touch-ups that would be needed on this I'd probably spend almost as much time trying to touch it up than I would just stripping it and refinishing it. I'm going to start by scraping the finish off the top with the scraper. So the door on this is not latching very well. So I took a closer look at it and it's not latching well because there's too much of a gap over here. So the door hangs down almost past the magnetic catch in there. And you can see on this end, the gap is narrower and it gradually opens up as you go this way. So I think the best way to fix this is just to lower the um, catch in here, inside, instead of trying to rehang the door. Because the interesting thing is the gap over here, where the hinge is, the gap between the door and the, and the table is pretty consistent. I don't think the door is hung crooked. Uh, I think something else is just wonky. and So I'm just going to lower that catch in there. So I took the door off just to make it easier to refinish everything. And I found what looks like to be another little factory mistake. You kind of see there's a bump in the veneer here. That's because the screw for the hinge is went in at an angle. So it's going kind of up like that and it's almost poking out of the veneer. I could try to fix it, but I'm not sure if it's worth it because it's been fine for all these decades. Um, hinges on there securely so I don't know we'll see I might fix it might leave it time to start scraping the finish on the sides and I noticed that this area looks pretty uh, pretty light and looks kind of like maybe it's bleached out even compared to the same side but down in the bottom corner this is darker I think it's kind of lighter up here and it's similar thing on this side and if you compare this to this side this is also a lot darker so I'm thinking this is probably bleached out and sometimes the bleaching is only in the finish and it doesn't go down to the wood so curious to see when I get this finish off if the wood underneath it is darker than this Okay, now I'm going to wet this down and see if the wood underneath the finish is darker than the finish. And it is. So this is the bare wood. And this is the wood with the finish still on it. So looks like the bleaching is probably mostly in the finish. So 
So this is that same side, but in the lower corner where it was darker. And here, looks like the bare wood is pretty much the same color as the wood with the finish still on it. This is the finished wood, this is the bare wood. Okay, so I've got the sides and the top all scraped, so the finish is removed. Uh, but you may have noticed that I didn't do this part around here or these vertical parts. And that's because unlike the top and the sides that are walnut veneer, these parts are some kind of a cheaper solid wood, probably a light, lightish, whitish colored wood. And at the factory they just sprayed them with some colored lacquer to make them look more like walnut. And the finish that they sprayed on there is in pretty good shape. I shouldn't have to do much to that other than touch it up. So I decided just to leave it. Because if I stripped it off, then I would just have to darken it again. I'd have to stain it and maybe spray some toner lacquer on it, something like that. So I decided just to leave it and I think it's gonna work out pretty well. So now I just want to spray the whole thing with some water and see how that veneer looks. Okay, so I've got it all sprayed down with some water and it looks pretty good. It's pretty consistent color. And here's the door, it looks pretty good. Top looks decent, um, but I think it's, it's a little blotchy. I haven't done any sanding on this yet, so I'll do some sta sanding on it, and hopefully that'll take care of some of the blotchiness and the uneven color. There are some spots where it looks like there's still some finish, so I'll have to work on that, make sure I get all that off. And that should come off when I sand it, which I'm gonna do once it dries. There's a small chip in the veneer here on the door, but luckily I have the piece that came out. So before I sand this, I'm just gonna glue this back in with some super glue. And now I can sand everything up to 180 grit. There's a small ding here on this piece, and it's pretty shallow. So I think to fill that, I'm just gonna use one of these hard fill sticks. These are pretty easy to use. Just melt it in there. And no, it's not chocolate. Uh, I'm not sure what it's made of actually. And once it cools, I can shape it, although this one looks like it's almost spot on, on its own. It's just a little bit high. And usually I kind of scrape it down with something like this. Feels good, I think that's it. And while I'm working in this area, I noticed that the finish on here is a little bit rough here. I don't know if that's from age, from where, or what, but I'm gonna just sand it a little bit with some 400 paper to smooth that out before I put finish on here. Cause I think I'm just gonna go over these trim pieces with the finish when I get to that point. And I don't I just want to smooth it out a little bit. I don't I don't want to take off the color. Although I probably will go over these pieces with some stain just to fill in uh, any spots that are 
And the same color like this little spot here and a little bit over here on the edge that I may have just done, I'm not sure. I decided to apply a stain over the whole thing just to darken it a little bit so that the veneer matches these dark trim pieces a little bit better. So I'm just going to put a walnut gel stain over it. That's a little bit darker than I wanted, so I'm just gonna go over it with some mineral spirits before the gel stain dries, just to uh, remove some of it, not all of it. That'll do. I let the stain dry overnight, and now I just want to check it, see how everything looks. And it looks pretty good, I think. The sides, especially, I think, are okay. The top, um, not so sure. I think it's okay, but it's hard to tell um, without having a, some clear finish over that stain because it just kind of looks dull and a little chalky. So, so I think I want to add some clear finish over this to get a better look at it. And I'm just going to use some clear shellac. Okay, the shellac is dry, and it looks pretty good, most of it. I think the sides look good, and the door, which is not here at the moment, looks good. Um, not so crazy, though, about the top. I feel like it looks a little bit uneven and blotchy, and this top was in pretty bad shape when I got this. There was uh, some finish that was missing and some areas that were exposed for a long time without any finish on them. And it would have been nice if I could have done more sanding to try to even out all of it, but uh, it is veneer, so there's only so much sanding you can do. And it's also a little bit lighter than I wanted. I know initially when I put on the stain, I actually wiped some of it off because I thought it was too dark, but now when I look at it, I think oh, it's a little bit light. So, so I'm going to apply some more stain and it's already been sealed with the shellac, so it's not gonna retain a lot of the stain, but, but I should be able to get enough on to just darken it a little bit and hopefully even out the color a little bit. But before that, I need to fix this little spot here where the veneer is lifting. And I, I should have done this before I put any stain or finish on here, but I just completely forgot about it. So I'll need to glue that down with some super glue and hopefully I won't be messy and it won't get all over the place.
That worked. So all the stain is dry and the shellac is dry and now I'm just going to add some wipe on oil polyurethane to the top and I think everything from the top down I'm just going to leave shellac. Should be fine as long as nobody spills an alcoholic drink on it. Just a couple of things left to do before I wrap this up. And uh, one of them is to lower this latch a little bit so the door catches it better. And I just added a little piece of uh, masonite or something like that to the bottom. And that should bring it down a little bit. And then I could put the door back on and, and then I think I'm done. Well, even after lowering this latch, it's still not latching very tightly. It's still not low enough. So instead of just bringing this down lower and lower and lower, I think I'll try to bring the door up higher. And to do that, I'm going to use a piece of veneer as a shim and put it underneath the lower hinge. And hopefully that brings this up high enough that it will latch securely. This has an adhesive backing, so it'll make it a little easier. It'll just stick there on its own. Now I just have to find the screw holes. There they are. All right, now I just trim off the excess. Okay, so that's better. It's not perfect still, and it could still come up even more, or the latch could come down even more, but I'm just going to leave it at that. If I start moving the door more, then it's probably going to start rubbing against the side of the cabinet at the top on the other side, and it's just a can of worms. So uh, I think this is good enough for this piece of furniture. And here it is, all finished. I'm pretty happy with how it came out, with the possible exception of the top. I think that could have been better. It's a little bit on the blotchy side still, but I don't want to spend any more time on this particular piece. I think I'll just call it good enough and done. The sides look pretty good though. They look a lot better than they did when I got it. They don't have those bleached out areas anymore. Thanks for watching.